is Nine News. A church calls it the Hell House. Some call it offensive. What do you think? Stay up, stay informed. The news starts now. From WCPO TV, the station that's on your side, this is Nine News. Emory, this program has been around for about a decade, and it's been at about 300 churches around the country. But this is the first in the tri-state. The Hell House does not open here till next week, but its radio ads have already hit the airwaves. God is turning the community upside down for Jesus. Hell House is the most radical seasonal attraction you will ever see. Witness a teenage drunk driving accident. Attend the funeral of a homosexual AIDS patient. The man behind that controversial radio ad. Tracy Maroon. He knows some will consider the Hell House offensive. That doesn't bother him. We're trying to teach all these homo Americans out here the difference between right and wrong. His church's youth group has spent weeks painting coffins and cages for the Hell House. Basically teaches the kids a valuable lesson. Teenagers and young adults will act out five scenes depicting so-called sins, ranging from abortion to drunk driving, but it's the one that shows a staged funeral of a gay man with AIDS that has people angry. So it's somebody, it's like this year at Stonewall, whatever, Cincinnati, talking about all those gay folks. Afternoon, Stonewall, Cincinnati. At the gay rights group Stonewall, Cincinnati, Lauren Carey says she's received about a half dozen complaint calls since the radio ads started running on Friday. The misinformation that that all gay people will get AIDS and you know, all gay people will have AIDS and then burn in hell is, is a ridiculous and ignorant message to promote. You want the facts? Look it up. Basically fact that all homo Americans are going to go to hell. And it's promoted directly at teens and young adults. The church says that's the group that needs it most. If Jesus was here right now, which he is, he would provide and shelter the hell house. Carrie says the opposite. Gay youth are already at a disproportionately high risk for suicide. I think it's time they just get over it. And this is the kind of message that can lead to that. Truth hurts. Now that ad that you heard is running on a Christian radio station, 104.3. It's owned by a local company, Baldwin Broadcasting. Stonewall Cincinnati accuses that company of spreading what Stonewall calls the church's hateful messages to a much wider audience. Interesting indeed. Yeah, I want to see that. And Nine News continues now. Stacy Case joins us with a look at the news stories you'll see at 5:30. Stacy. Uh, <laughs> Shit. We are uh, having a little technical difficulty there. The 14-year-old girl charged last month with pouring bleach in her father's nose and mouth could soon face some stiffer charges. Her father died in the hospital last night. You've got to really be tired <laughs> yeah, to pull that right. off. Amazing. And it was a very pleasant day today. Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkus in the Forecast Center now to tell us what's ahead. We're going to explain that coming up, but first pay close attention to this story. Tonight, Covington police say they've arrested a man for improper sexual acts in front of a child, and they're afraid there may be more victims. Boy, that's, that doesn't kind of take you back. Yeah, it, well, yeah. I guess way back. I'd be, <laughs> 
2002 Super Bowl teams will be set this weekend. Both conference championships will kick off on Sunday, and the AFC game actually features two teams the Bengals beat, Pittsburgh and New England. We don't want to hear about that, do we? Hi, I'm Glenn Scherzinger, owner of Showcase Turf and Tree. And for years, thousands of Cincinnatians have relied on Showcase Turf to provide them with showplace lawns. Our trained and experienced staff produce the kind of results our customers expect and deserve. We'll provide you with personal service and a price and value you'll feel good about. Let Showcase Turf inspect your lawn. We'll give you an honest appraisal of what you truly need. We'll deliver what we promise at a competitive price. I guarantee it. Cincinnati has 18 new police officers tonight. And they were so ready to let off a little steam <laughs> after 23 grueling weeks of training. What we want to do is go out, treat everybody the way we want to be treated, treat everybody the way we want our mom and dads to be treated, and uh, basically go out and serve the community. But the basic principles of dignity, fairness, and respect haven't changed. With photographer Gary Hughes, Tom McKee, 9 News. Oh. Well, that looks painfully familiar around <laughs> yeah, here, doesn't really. it? <laughs> Patients from the Shriners Burns Hospital and other area school kids were treated to an exciting performance today. The Shrine Circus is not just trapeze acts anymore. Check out this dancer. Performances of the Syrian Shrine Circus for the general public begin tonight and go through Sunday at the Cincinnati Gardens. You can do that, can't you, Clark? Well, I could and if you wanted to. until recently, Bro. yes. <laughs> I decided to retire. Yeah. That's Channel 9 News at 6 for this Thursday night. Join Clyde, Stacey, Pete, and Denny tonight at 11 after primetime Thursday. For all of us here at 9 News, have a great night.